We've got just a couple more problems. I think I'm going to grow up and be a singer someday. All right, let's see here. We're simplifying. What if I had three roots of... Whoa. 7 over 8x. Now... This is what's going on here. This 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 is the problem. Let, let, we're converting over here. Now let's not convert just yet. We'll convert here in a minute. We want to get this radical out of the denominator. That's what's going on. Okay. Simplifying radical expressions. Yep, that's the story. What I'm going to do is we're going to convert this over from radical to exponential All right so the numerators are going to become 7 raised to the one-third power over <clears throat> over something over 8 we're even going to just split this up 8 raised to the third times x raised to the third okay so you should be able to at this point in time, if you've been watching all these videos up to here, you should be able to figure that out. Okay? So the 8x raised to the third went ahead and broke it up. 8 <clears throat> raised to the one third, that's 2 times 2 times 2, or you could say 2 to the third, which is equal to 8. It's supposed to have been a 2 there. Okay? <clears throat> So you can see 8 raised to the third is going to equal 2. All right, so we're good on that. I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite. So we have 7 to the one third times 2x to the third. Now we've got to get this radical out of the denominator. So do this, multiply the bottom by x raised to the two-thirds times what you do in the bottom, you got to do in the top. Okay, what do we got? I guess we'll write it right here. So we're going to have x to the, what am I doing here, two-thirds? over 2 so our bases are the same so we can add the exponents 1 third plus 2 thirds is 1 so that's what we're left with okay <clears throat> now we got to get this back into radical form because that's where we started all right <clears throat> So this is 7 to the 1 third times x squared, and it's raised, I'm just rewriting this part, raised to the 1 third. All right, so our exponents are the same. And remember, it's over 2x. So we can rewrite this as 7 x squared we could say three roots it's all over 2x Ooh, that was some work okay let's try another one here real quick three roots of x over 2y cubed 2y cubed. So let's look at this. Let's just convert this back over to radical form. We got uh, 2 to the 1 third times y cubed and it's all raised to the 1 third. Okay. <clears throat> of course I didn't leave any room. Maybe we just scroll over. How's that? Why don't we just do that? Try that out. This becomes x to the third, 2 to the third. 
3 times a third is 1, so that's just left with left with y. Yeah. We got to do some with this 2 to the third down here in the denominator. Let me uh <clears throat> let me just go back and and rewrite. Let's just rewrite this here. We have x to the third. Okay. Over I'm going to write it like this, y times 2 to the third. So we're going to multiply 2 to the 2 thirds. All right, 2 to the 2 thirds. We're doing the denominator. we got to do in the numerator. Okay, so this becomes x to the 1 third times 2 squared raised to the one-third, see what I'm doing here, okay, it's all over, two to the one-third, you add your exponents, that just leaves us with two to the y, right here, since raised to the third, raised to the third, we can just put all that under one single radical, two squared is four, yes it is, and it's all over 2y. Of course, we wouldn't rewrite. We'd write it like 4x, okay, over 2y. All right. <clears throat> Lovely. Get those radicals out of the denominator, please. Thank you. All right. Seen enough. See you, actually, this is the end of this section for right now. And I think we're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, or something. Radical expressions. See you there.